sure y'all seen how I maxed out, went crazy. Y'all don't even know what, what I did behind the scenes. Like, yeah, whatever. His way of, I don't know. I don't know either. Like, I really don't know why people do certain things they do. And, like, at the end of the day, I, I got to, like, see it through. And I talked to him about it. I, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know why he would do that. Like, he said I was too busy worried about somebody else shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm worried about this nigga. I'm worried about that nigga. Why are you not worried about your son? When really I had appointments, I just never told this nigga nothing. So, I don't know why. I don't know why. You feel me? Like, I wish I can give you a motherfucking answer. But, like, when I talk to him and when we, like, go back for back about it, all I got to say, he don't know no better. Because who in that right state of mind would do that? You feel me? So... I'm not explaining myself. I'm just being transparent with my followers, the people that's in my life, being nosy. Huh? But um, we do a lot of talking over the phone. We do a lot of communicating about everything. Um, it's a lot of things he said, like, you know, he took a lot of shit for granted. You know, I said what I said, you know, like, you know, whatever. Um, I don't feel like nobody's selling no drinks because it's like, first of all, he don't got that much time to begin with. So it's like, you can't really jail talk somebody unless you got a couple years. So that's when you start jail talk. You come home in a couple months. You feel me? You already kind of got your set up before you got your set up. So it was just like, I don't know. Like, I remember when um we was hanging out, like, we was hanging out real, real heavy, like, right before he went in, right? So we getting all the toxic shit out. We getting all the hurt out. I'm telling you, I'm crying about what I'm crying about. You know how I'm crying and shit. We hashing it out, um, crying about it, forgiving each other about it, going through it, whatever, right? Just having fun. Just enjoying each other's presence. Um, for like two weeks straight. Um, it was just one day I woke up. He went to my phone. He was like, I was with action with my girlfriend. I'm like, what is you talking about? He's like, cause like, cause you want, I, I want to get this right with you. Like, you know, like, you know, you know, long story short, you know. He know where home is at for real. So basically we having this heart to heart, but he just like, he gets so mad. Cause like, first of all, why are you going through my phone? Two, I just thought we was kicking it. I don't even know what it is. You like, he the type to test you. I don't know what the fuck he be doing. You feel me? I really don't keep up. I be in my own world trying to figure this shit out with him. You feel me? So whatever, I, I take my days like, you know, chilly, like, that's crazy. Da, 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 da. So, boom. Right before he left, like, when I came to court and shit, but right before he went to court, he he was mad that day because when he went through my phone, he like, damn, you outside for real. So, I'm looking at him like, bitch, you're, you just got fake, man. like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, long story short, I'm just like, huh? Like, you know? So, he's not really good at communicating. He's just not really good at all with none of this relationship shit so i don't really try to teach him i just let him if you want it you want it if you don't leave it you feel me i don't give a fuck i'm gonna take my elsewhere like you know like i be trying to be fair now because it's like whatever right so fast forward everything um we so you went through my phone with you um I was outside, so we left on a bad note. So when he went in jail, waiting for his car, I don't know what's going on for us. So long story short, they have you locked up, like quarantine, 
while you getting processed and shit for like five days straight. So he didn't get no calls. He didn't really talk to nobody. He don't know nothing was going on, all this other stuff. So um, I'm in Atlanta for real. And out of nowhere, when I'm doing my 20v1, you know, I'm minding my business out, out, you know, dragging for real. You know, doing my little, like just being Krishan, having fun, like outside for real. So um, he calling me and calling me. So I answered. I paused the whole little 20 v one and shit. Like, hold on, bro. Hold the fuck up. It's a joke, call. Pick up. Hey, what's up? He like, you already fagging off the... I said, first of all, we did not get together. Remember, you fake... Say you was ready to ask me out, but you never asked me out because you saw what was going on in my phone and who I be talking to and how I be getting down. So then he like... I don't give a fuck. You were supposed to, I'm thinking you supposed to, I, like, I'm, like, basically, he was holding me at his high expectation. So, I'm just, like, you know, joking for, like, you know, fake laughing on the phone, like, what? You're, are you, sick? like, I'm just, like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, like, where you at? 20, 20, 20, like, I'm telling him where I'm at, what I'm doing. He, like, what? Da, da. So, he, like, so you, uh, you know, you, you over there on such and such, with such and such. I'm like, damn, how you know where I'm at and shit? I know it went viral or whatever, like, you know. And so, I guess he found out about whoever he called. So, I'm like, so you keeping tabs on me, but you follow who you follow. You got what on your page, what you got on your page. Like, bro, what you're demonstrating, like, what the fuck, what? So we just popping it, popping it, popping it. I think we hang up, he calls back again, he just keep calling back, and then, um, I think he stopped calling at one point, I'll try to finish the video, I said, call me in like an hour, I'm about to finish the video, I never got to finish the video, cause that's when them niggas came in, but, um, long story short, um, he called me, um, we just started talking and shit, and I'm just like, okay, like, what's up? So you just start being straightforward, very clear, how you feel, uh, very apologetic, like he was just being cool. I'm like, okay, so I'm... I'm being receptive, because You know, I'm thinking the shit is like, this shit... This shit can't be serious, you feel me, so... So, um, long story short, we start, like, talking, like, spending time on what hurt it is and communicating, like, actually talking, like, we, now it's forcing us to talk, we can't just fuck, like, we have to talk, so it's forcing us to talk, I think what we did, most we didn't really talk about our problems, we didn't get over it, and just really fuck, and then just live it up, and go back to beef. That was our shit. Like, I don't know why, but that was just our shit. And uh, this time, he just had, he was just being real with himself, real with the situation. Very, like, it was just, I liked it. So I was just like, I mean, I ain't really too deep with any, none of these. Like, I don't really fuck with nobody for real. Like, I, I was cool with people. I was fucking with them. I was being what I was being. But I was still in, like, this phase, like, you know, we still friends and shit. Like, it was never that serious. So it was just like, for me to go back to my BD, it was kind of easy because I never started nothing too serious. So, um, long story short, uh, what else? Yeah, that's basically what's going on. Like, so. He started testing me for real, like, okay, so if you fuck with, he know, he know I fuck with him. That's the other thing, I hate how I gotta step out my little box. And I am, I'm going to every time, just because the way I love is just the way I love. I, I, I just can't say sorry for it, nothing. So I'm just gonna roll with it for real. And I'm really a rock, so it's like, it's hard to come by a person like me for real. I'm very forgiving and I can really start over like with that person so he changed a few things he made me feel like 
it was a safe space to be myself, talk to him, tell him how I felt. Like, once I felt that again, the sparks start coming back. The sparks was been back when we start, like, waking up on the love and shit. But it's really back because now we're, like, talking and shit. And then, like, he's just so focused on making me a priority. So I'm like, okay, I'll make you a priority. Like, you feel me? And that's just my choice. So, but, um... I don't know, I don't, I don't give advice to people, like, if you finna go, okay, like, alright, yeah, so look, okay, he did me wrong, he did what he did, you see how I got up on my shit, look, this, this the funny thing, and I really feel like niggas have to see it first, like, okay, when bro was dogging my shit, we was filming, we was, we was trying to do it together and shit. We just wasn't seeing eye to eye. Y'all see what y'all seen. I seen what I seen. He seen what he seen. Everybody got their side of the story of what they seen. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, when I was going through that weird ass shit, right? Nigga, I separated myself, nigga. I got up off my ass. I separated myself. I stumbled a few times. I purchased... I put some money down, like I did big shit, like put a hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars down for a house with no credit. Um, my first house, like, cop the Bentley, like, nigga, start being outside, dating again, like, trying to move forward, trying to, like, okay, I be feeling like. When you go through something with somebody and they don't see your value or vice versa, y'all don't appreciate each other, vice versa, long story short, focus on yourself. When you start focusing on yourself, that person just automatically just start coming out to nowhere, being what they supposed to be. Like, that's, that's, and then I, it's unfortunate that this, the timing, the jail, whatever the case may be, but I really feel like, um, we had to kind of like see each other without each other for real. Like, how do you work with other people? How do you feel when you're fucking with other people and you're cut off from this type of per like? But I had a part of me that was cut off from him. Like, I would, like he, it's things that he won't let go. Like it would be times when we made up that one day he left with me. And then I end up leaving him in my house with no phone. Like, and he wakes up, call me from a gas. Like, long story short, like, I had this part of me cut off. Like, I will deal with him when I deal with him. Um, I was very bitter, a little bittersweet. Uh, I gave him, but I, ain't, I, I didn't give no power. I didn't give no, you know. So, but vice versa. So, it's like. Whatever, the, whatever you feel, what do you feel about me? You know what I'm saying? It's his side of the story, but I'm not bashing him. I'm not nothing. I'm just telling my side of the story. Like, I had to go get my shit, get, like, show a nigga I don't give a fuck. I can do this and start from zero. You, we, we could start, you know what I'm saying? I can't, what? You feel me? So, boom, popped out doing shows i stopped doing like little bookings i start changing like i start switching up but like again like shit what happened like i'll have slip ups like you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying i'm going viral for the wrong reasons but all you see is me just trying to work and be on the stage like i was trying to be productive